In this video, we're going to talk about hoop stresses. These are the stresses that are present, for example, in a cylindrical pressure vessel, like a gas cylinder or a propane tank or in a spherical pressure vessel. So there's an internal pressure acting on a cylinder or sphere, and we're interested in the state of stress that develops in the material under those loading conditions. So if we have a cylinder, for example, we're interested primarily in the two directions illustrated here. So this one, which goes along the axis of the cylinder, is often called the axial stress. And this other stress here, which essentially goes around the circumference of the cylinder, is the one known as the hoop stress. And this is often denoted as sigma sub theta or sigma hoop. So this is the hoop stress, which is acting in the circumferential direction, which we are interested in. So we will consider now a cylindrical pressure vessel, which is thin walled. So the wall thickness is small relative to the radius. And so we can define then the radius of this, and I've drawn it to the middle here. This is sort of the mean radius of this uh, cylinder. We have the thickness of the wall, and so the hoop stress that we're interested in is essentially operating sort of in, in this direction. That's the hoop stress. So for a thin-walled, cylindrical pressure vessel. The hoop stress is simply equal to P, the internal pressure, times R divided by T, the thickness. So P here is the internal pressure. We can also define the axial stress if we want in this case. For example, if there were caps on the ends of this cylinder and the axial stress is just PR divided by 2T. So this is the case for a thin-walled cylindrical pressure vessel. So again, something like a gas tank where the, the internal pressure is acting. Let's look now at a spherical pressure vessel. In this case, the hoop stress acts all around the entire spherical pressure vessel and is given at all points by the equation PR divided by 2T, where these variables have the same meaning. P is the internal pressure, R is the mean radius, and T is the thickness of the wall. Let's just quickly consider an example. So we want to find the hoop stress acting when a cylinder 40 centimeters in diameter with a wall thickness of one centimeter is subject to 5 MPa internal pressure. So we have a radius of 20, and this is a cylinder, so the hoop stress will be given by PR over T. So this is equal 5 MPa times 20 centimeters. And as long as our radius and thickness are in the same units, we don't need to convert just to meters. And so we find simply that the hoop stress is 100 MPa. So for an internal pressure of 5 MPa, we have this hoop stress of 100 MPa. So it's worth noting that, that it really is significantly increased as compared to whatever the internal pressure is due to the geometry of this. Now, as a follow-up, if the yield strength of the material is 500 MPa, what is the maximum internal pressure allowed if we have a safety factor of two? So that would mean essentially that we will tolerate a stress of 250 MPa. So we can set 250 MPa equal to P times 20 centimeters divided by one centimeter. And we would solve to find that the maximum allowed internal pressure is 12.5 MPa. 
So this is the way that we can use the hoop stress equations to understand the stresses present in a cylindrical vessel.